lot of the attraction to the uh, raw food diet, uh, juicing, and all of this stuff came from in the 70s with its ability to heal cancer. Now, earlier in the last video, I did say that um, raw food diet, juicing, all of this kind of stuff um, is basically adds like uh, acts like a solvent. I, I sort of used it as the same thing of, well, a solvent. Uh, used for cleaning out the gummy stuff in the engine of our cars or whatever, and then this sort of stuff that you can spray on circuitry that cleans out a lot of the muck and the dust. And so that being said, cancer is very much a kind of thing that, that needs this solvent thing when a person gets stuffed and block. A cancer is essentially uh, something that's from lack of cell respiration. Um, and what cancer basically is, is um, malnutritioned cells huddling together, stealing energy off of each other. Strangely enough, you tell me metaphorically if that's not going on in all of this box living and people being afraid to express themselves um, in a unique manner. Each cell in your body is a separate universe a in a collective symbiosis of universes. The organs, the cells, all of these things. And all of this is very well displayed in, um, in my mind in the Chinese system. Now, um, a lot of stuck on stupid people are really into uh, just sort of limiting themselves and um, Dr. Morse is going to be referenced in here, and a lot of people have pointed to me um, in his direction, and there is a huge, huge chunks of truth in here, and I was there once, and yes, I am trying to pat myself on the back and saying I am not limited with the knowledge. There is so much out there, and the Chinese system is the whitest, and I'm not saying there's not elements of the Chinese system within Dr. Morse's God's, godsherbs.com that Dan is going to talk about in here. So I was very hesitant to talk much about Dr. Morse. I don't, I get an ill vibe. The guy is uh, chunky. I can see the thickness of, of him. The gray hair is very genetic, very natural, very um, sort of genetically predisposed. But I see a limitation here. I studied with a Western herbalist, a person out of the, um, oh, uh, the mountains in, uh, in Virginia through there. He seems very much of that, that type of mentality. Don't know. I'm not talking shit. I'm just saying I don't think his system is that wide. And a lot of people that took consultations from me last year uh, went running to him uh, out because they didn't like what I said. Um, and uh, my commentary on all the vegan stuff, yes, I am still very vegan-based, but hitting um, a 49, I found myself um, needing the addition of a few animal products. Now, I am not like some of the other advocates of this stuff in the sense of that I am back to being vegan and stuff like this uh, now. But I have a cycling system that I'm doing and experimenting with, and I just think that's the important thing with me is... is First off, the artist expression thing, I've been doing this health thing all my life. I just turned 49, and um, I've been around some of the best of the best, and uh, um, this just never, never stops, this learning. So um, that's my biggest thing. So that being said, let's move back on with the dog and pony show. Fruits that you can. Number two is going to be the leafy green herbal juices. And I also want to mention, do you know about God's herbs? Okay, look up godsherbs.com. Are you writing this down? Of course he's not writing it down. He has MS, you moron. Okay, so good. Memorize, or you can reference this video, because I probably will put it up, even though I just woke up two minutes ago, and I'm sitting here naked, and I just did this emergency call, and I thought it would make a good video, because MS... Oh, why are you naked, and just woke up, and why did you call somebody? Why didn't you get dressed? Because maybe you woke up feeling 
um, like your attachments that you haven't dealt with, your failed uh, relationship and all that stuff, and you just needed to be high and mighty Dan um, uh, with your whole complex about being a savior. It's too bad that you couldn't be a savior for somebody that needs it instead of tackling a fucking case that you don't get, you dumbass. Fucking, I couldn't believe what was said in this when I watched this the first time because I have a very right-brained approach and uh, sort of giving things names and things like that is very left-brained and I have dealt with MS before and the information that is given in this video is so far off base I actually went to look and make sure that my right brain hadn't really gotten confused with what medical left-brainedness calls MS um, because it sure as fuck looked to me like dumbass here didn't even bother bother to fucking go and look what MS really is so, um, well, I did go and look to make sure that my brain wasn't off. And no, I'm right on with this. I know exactly what MS is. So, um, that being said, let's, uh, get the whole show going again. This, you know, needs to be reversed. And it's not that hard, but you can't eat dead food. Because it will destroy, in the end, the dead foods, especially the meat, rancidify and, and wreak havoc on the nervous system, causing you to lose mobility. So what you... Okay, so this is crap. This is my first um, bit of uh, um, what I'm going to talk about here. Um, I do want to recommend, uh, Dan says fruit, about sort of getting the body going. Fruit is very, very expensive for in the terms of the world of bang for buck. And was one of the... Uh, I did the whole fruitarian thing in my 30s, uh, late 20s, early 30s. And one of the reasons I stopped doing fruitarian was because uh, fruit's really expensive. Bananas are cheap, but things like mangoes and all that, the bang for the buck is low, 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 low. So I would recommend really that you, um, uh, hydration, getting into water and getting into a product uh, that's called a Willard water. Um, and I'll, I'll show some of this stuff. I don't have it in my hand right now. But yeah, really getting into the fact that the body is 90% water, um, I would use, uh, uh, get into some mineral supplements and stuff like that, and let's go back on with the dog and pony show. Do you, go ahead. No, that's the last thing on planet Earth you ever want to eat again, bro, with, with a... Bullshit! Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. First off... One of the major foods that I would recommend to you, bro, again, I'm talking to the guy, the MS guy, um, is you want to look into um, sardines. Sardines are loaded with all of the kind of complex fats that we want. Um, I would, if you couldn't afford it, I would go anywhere from two to four cans a day. And I will provide a link to iHerb uh, where you can hook up these sardines. Um, sardines are loaded with RNA and DNA as well as all of the um, complex fats and can solve actually a lot of problems. So that being said, um, the ocean is also uh, polluted and there is going to be um, a, everything on the planet is polluted. So getting obsessed with um, heavy metals and mercury and all this kind of stuff, this can easily be detoxed with uh, Corella and, uh, uh, you know, that's a superfood um, and cilantro. So uh, in your, your protocol, in my opinion, if I was doing the consultation, I would say right up central with eating, you would want to go with two to four cans of sardines, whatever you can afford a day, um, a full bunch of uh, cilantro, um, uh, juiced, um, you know, and if you can take it um, uh, multiple to just help with that sort of detoxification of mercuries. But metal poisoning is not... Uh, uh, it, this is not the issue near as much as um, getting what you need. So along the lines of needing RNA and DNA, which are building blocks of stuff, I would also go with some uh, brewer's yeast. Um, and I'll show you that uh, later on about what products I recommend. So let's move on. A system like yours, because you probably had a genetic weakness in the beginning and then Likely. it just gets accelerated with the dead animals and the dead food but that part is bullshit so, yeah, because you, you need to get on the living to... food 100 percent raw living food diet with a focus on fruits no wheatgrass no. would be great for you yes wheatgrass would be good but fruits forget it 
And then you want to um, uh, get as much massages as you can, get as much rest as you can, and have as much love and peace in your life as possible. And Okay, these are the things that I totally agree with Dan on. Massages, good, absolutely. Um, love and peace, yes, good. Lots of rest, really good. Okay, Dan, you could have added to this one a bit with perhaps a few supplements to help the gentleman get some rest. Um, there are quite a few isolate supplements um, that, that you could do to get deeper rest. Um, one of the majors in this would be a new health protocol, uh, transdermal magnesium therapy. Um, that would be of great help. It's going to um, help get the minerals moving through you and stuff like that. Um, as well as, um, I actually have a good video that's called uh, Sleep Strategies. And uh, I will hopefully remember to link to this um, and, and wrap all of this up. So let's get on with the bullshit show. Positive thinking, positive energy. Yes. Okay, so um, Andrew, I, I mean, we really did. It's so simple. Once you go on godsherbs.com, I want you to get, uh, uh, just reference this video later, a brain and nerve formula. Um, get the detox kit. Hopefully you've got a little bit of money to work with. Yes, and if you do have money to work with, please listen to what I have to say. And don't waste your fucking money on fruit, for Christ's sake. Okay, great. Well, that's good. Um, okay, so um, I got disrupted by the phone. And I ran into my, kit, my alchemist lab, which anybody that's seen uh, my videos know that my kitchen does not look like a kitchen. It looks like a big, huge laboratory. Um, I got lots of stuff. I don't use them every day. All of the Whole Foods, especially the 80-10-10 people, have completely freaked out. Um, I, I do have to tell you that, that, that this organic word keeps being dropped. And Dan talks about that in here. And, and the thing that you got to keep in mind is organic don't mean shit. All it means is that it doesn't have in it what it shouldn't have in it in the first place. So that is the reason for the need for supplementation. That doesn't mean that these organic produce are grown in mineral-rich soils. It could be easily grown in completely depleted soils. Uh, Willard Water, one of the first things that I mentioned. Um, this is like a four-ounce bottle. You can get this for four or five bucks at your health food store. Um, if you do a YouTube uh, search on uh, uh, Willard, uh, Doc Willard's Water or Willard Water with 60, 60 minutes. There was a great documentary on this product in the um, 70s. And then in the 80s, the U.S. Con Congress did a uh, sort of a congressional hearing on this product um, and said that it is everything that it says it is. And of course, it's been forgotten because it's a big, helpful, cheap product. And so anyways, it's they don't know why it works. It's not harmful, all of this kind of stuff, but it works. It helps hydrate more. Um, let me see, what else did I mention? Um, uh, I, I said sardines. I don't have any sardines around here because I'm doing the vegan thing right now. Um, and then later in the winter, when, when uh, uh, plant products are not available, I'm going to jump into back into eating animal products and that kind of thing. So I, I think this is really, really important, um, is, is having an open mind and realizing that we are likely omnivores. And people that are older... Um, or just whatever, people who are having successes with this stuff, um, very spiritual uh, people. Gibral Cousins is a good example. Um, uh, looks incredibly frail to anybody that's seen him, but the guy is transmuting, um, fully realized kundalini, um, um, transmuting prana, and I've heard that the guy can do like, like an insane amount of push-ups. Big deal. Has nothing to do with his physical body. Has to do with the fact that he is actually able to use... Um, the cosmic energy. I'm not there yet. I want to be there. I know Dan's after that as well. So, uh, sardines, uh, one thing that I recommend because the RNA and DNA, which help to build in every way. Another one is this particular brand of uh, brewer's yeast. Um, you need to be careful with this one if you're uh, candida because it is a yeast. And with bacterias um, in a bad situation, um, meaning that your body is o more overwhelmed with uh, bad yeast and bacteria, Good bacteria can pleomorph into bad. So if you're dealing with candida, you want to avoid this. This one is very high in B vitamins, um, which is very stimulating to um, nerve force and um, 
what, what have you. Um, and so that being said about the uh, B vitamins, another one is a B supplement. Um, and being vegan, this is definitely one that you want to get on with, it is uh, Be Right from Jarl on iHerb. This is $14 a bottle. Definitely want to get on with this one, for sure, for sure. Um, so, and then along the lines of supplementation, of course, Dan don't, Dan don't get any of this because he's, he, he's a tunnel vision, um, box living, whatever. Um, supplements outside of the range. Um, and so... You're basically <clears throat> talking about Whole Foods with somebody that's depleted, and 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 they've they've gone off in a direction, and so they need a concentration of some of these supplements. So um, a big one for um, neurotransmitter strength and all that kind of stuff is L-tyrosine. Um, another one very affordable on iHerb. Uh, don't get it at your health food store. It's going to be forty percent cheaper on iHerb. And then another one is uh, taurine. Sure, we've heard of this one for for um, its calming effects and also, but it helps with um, nerve strength. Okay, I talked about fats, um, and I do want to get all of this in here. I know I'm jumping around, but I'm trying to be inclusive so that I don't forget anything. Good that the telephone uh, interrupted me. Um, okay, there is a great fish oil supplement uh, from New Chapter, which is very expensive, but this particular brand from uh, Dr. Michael Murray, and this is also available on iHerb from... Uh, I guess the company is called Natural Factors. Um, this is what you want to look. Um, essentially a product just as good as the new chapter stuff, um, but far, far more affordable. Um, great stuff. And then another one for a vitamin A and vitamin D. Um, and uh, uh, vegans, <clears throat> the vegan um, um, dogmatic mentality will say to you that... Um, that vitamin A is available in all these green vegetables, that is beta carotene. There's actually um, no conclusive scientific evidence that says that um, uh, beta carotene can be uh, changed into uh, vitamin A or D. And so this is a really good supplement for that, which is um, uh, just the two of these together. <laughs> Cheap investment. I got these like at the beginning of the year and they're still, they're, they're still left. You know, don't waste your money on fucking mangoes and grapes and stuff like that when you can get this stuff that you're going to get far more results on. And as far as the chi flow stuff that's going to go on, um, yes, juice, green juice, fuck the fruit, you know. Um, and the Willard water with lots and lots of water and MSM and uh, uh, DMSO. Um, I'm not telling you what to do because... Telling somebody to take DMSO um, internally is a kind of gray area illegal. I'm telling you what I would do. So that's a whole different ball game. I would put a couple drops of some... Uh, where's the freaking DMSO at? thought I had it around here somewhere. Um, anyways, the DMSO... You can mix um, the mineral stuff, you know, get these minerals from Morningstar Minerals, the Energy Boost HA and the Vitality 70, again, at iHerb from a company called Morningstar Minerals. Big glass of water, the minerals inside, MSM inside there, um, uh, uh, the Willard water in there as well, uh, um, and um, put a little DMSO in there. Again, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what I would do in this case. Because, again, the DMSO is very gray area in the United States. You can drink this down. And then in the case of your, your nerve problems and all of that stuff, I would actually rub it on my skin. Because DMSO has the effect of pulling it, like, right inside. So, let's get back on with the dog and pony show. Because we love to help people. And we love to make a mockery of these fools that are on... Um, YouTube, especially Dan, because he needs to be dropped a notch. This bitch is out of control. To make this a lot easier, because these herbs will help to regenerate the cells individually. I would get the endocrine formula myself, the adrenal formula. I would do the 12 weeks detox while simultaneously eating the fruit diet. You'll be amazed at what you can do with the brain and nerve. That wasn't bad information, but fuck the fruit thing. Drink the water and, and the Willard water. It's just that water. simple 
but it's gonna you're gonna want the best fruits. So become an expert in picking the freshest, most high energetic, ripe fruits because it's gonna make a big difference. So just keep on working at it and getting to know your local produce uh, distributors and asking them and get having your friends help you or whatever you need to do until you get your mobility back. Oh, fuck this. Instead of wasting time with talking to your, your produce guy, uh, listen to people that are more well-rounded on this subject instead of somebody that's stuck in a world of dogma like Dan the Man Life, Regener Life Regenerator. Um, you want to pay attention to people like Donna Gates, um, uh, Truth Calkins, uh, David Wolf, and again, you want to absorb that book called uh, Primal Body, Primal Mind. It's a very, it, it tends to, um, uh, the, the whole vegan thing, it just in my mind, this really needs to be ignored. And this is coming from somebody who prefers the vegan lifestyle. Now, I was, I don't think I clarified this. I was vegan for a long, 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 long time, almost 25 years, raw vegan. And I was definitely getting that whole ugly, sunken face weirdness going on. And I sort of... Um, I brought myself back with getting into a little bit of raw meat eating. So, um, again, I, I don't see a need for myself. If, if a person within the blood type um, um, theory that, oh, people need more more um, meat, heavy, dense foods. And then I have heard vegan people say that when you do have O bloods, um, this sort of thing can be um, augmented with superfoods, which is very true. Another thing you need to really take in big time is all of your uh, algaes or algaes, depending on how you want to say that word. Spirulina, Corella, um, you know, E3 Live, marine phytoplankton, all of these kind of stuff have a broader fat thing in here. Superfoods, for sure. All right, let's get on with it. To learn about where to get the best fruits, where they're at, and you want them to be sweet and highly energizing and delicious. Uh, can you say that again? Well, I would say... Um, he asked what he needs to focus on right now. Soon. Those will take you to another level. Cherries? If Fuck any, that! If there's any mangoes left, if you can find some honey mangoes, it was a good season. There might be a few laying around for like another week. Honey mangoes will regenerate the nerves. Watermelon will flush and cleanse the body and to help the kidneys and the adrenal. Oh, Dan, why don't you focus more on broadening uh, um, your your guru status, your master status of getting into superfoods, of understanding um, places outside of the goddamn box that you live in. And yes, it is goddamn. It's from hell. Yeah, I know I'm cussing, but fuck that, dude. Like, like open up, dude. Open up. This, this is pure crap to start to function again. Uh, grapes will be coming into season. Uh, citrus is at the end. There may be some good grapefruits left. There may be some oranges at the very end of the season. Okay, sour, sour things. Um, lemons, oranges, grapefruits, all of that stuff. Definitely good for stimulating the liver, but just as well in that department is uh, apple cider vinegar. So all of this stuff, start the day with a sour drink, lemon water, uh, Bragg's, uh, vinegar water, all of that kind of stuff. But psh, all this sweet fruit, unless, yeah, just, it, it's very expensive and you'd be better off putting this into superfoods. Like what you're going to pay for one day's worth of fruit um, with this mentality that Dan the Man has, you can get a big uh, um, jar of Corella from Now Foods from iHerb. Screw this fruit bullshit. Try to find organic uh, what else is there? You know, um, it's kind of in the middle of a lot of stuff right now, but summer is on the way. And just go into the store and try to find the freshest stuff. Talk to the produce managers and say, what's in season right now that's organic? Go to the organic produce store. Okay? Are there any other questions, Andrew? Brain and nerve is going to be a tincture formula. I would get the endocrine in the capsules. I should make a video on this soon because these are the most incredible herbs on the planet for tissue regeneration. 
Okay, first off, I haven't looked at these, but this is a, this is definitely an area I wanted to address. And uh, Dan the Man, Life Regenerator, um, Lack of Empathy, Stuck on His Own High, Jesus Trip, does not know shit about any of this stuff. So, um, uh, there's two major uh, uh, tincture extracts that I want to recommend in the case of somebody like this. Um, the number one would be... Um, Deer antler extract. This is from uh, Essence. This is from Jing Herbs. You can also get it from Dragon Herbs. Um, this particular product is a little pricey. Uh, me and all my boys, me and my boys, my 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 tribe, um, we have been talking about different deer antlers. This one's pricey. There's another company called the New Zealand uh, um, Deer Antler Company, um, which you can get on Amazon. And you can get three of these for the price of one of these. And so um, this, is, this is cutting edge. This is new stuff. And I do want to indicate that um, in the world of ethical uh, deer antler uh, extraction, that none of the deers are harmed. All of these deers are treated with the utmost uh, um, royalty about them. They live great, great, great lives. That being said, I'm not saying that there's not exploitive things that are done other places in the world. But New Zealand is well aware of the fact that they have a deer um, health uh, um, world going on. And so um, they have actually uh, national laws which protect the deer and stuff like this. And uh, so um, anything with, uh, from uh, Dragon Herbs, Jing Herbs, and from this New Zealand uh, deer company, which you can get on Amazon, three bottles for the price of one of these. And again, I am not 100% on the quality of this, this kind of stuff. And uh, these increase nerve force big time. So um, also along that uh, lines is one that's called male silk moth extract. And so um, both of these are, um, are good for um, uh, male impotence, um, which is a total nerve issue. Uh, the inability of a male to get a wood is a complete nerve issue. And so, um, to the best of my knowledge, Dragon Herbs is the only place to get this one. And I would highly recommend, uh, um, screw God's Herbs. Go with these people who know what they're talking about, who have a long-standing reputation, who are widely respected in China and all over the place. Nothing bad to say about Dr. Morse. But it is a very tunnel vision, limited point of view. So if you're going to do anything to great extent, um, I would highly recommend really getting into these two that I just recommended, okay? Um, and let's get on with Dan's load of crap. But if you go there, you'll see that he has the most powerful herbs on the planet. I don't believe this is true. Um, no, I don't think so. This is, I'm not saying that they're not powerful and everything else, but um, this is just uh, somebody that's got a, a pretty hardcore internet presence. The fact that he's constantly on there. Most people that are actually busy with true healing don't have time to upload shit onto fucking YouTube like fucking Dr. Morse does. I, I mean... I, personally, bro, I would get like almost half the formulas if you can afford it. I use them all very, to help my friends and, and my clients and stuff, but you're going to want to clean the bowels out. So you're going to want to get a bowel formula, brain and nerve, endocrine. Um, yeah, that's going to be the main one for you. The brain and nerve and the adrenal formula to get the, uh, the steroids pumping again through your body. You've wore your body out with dead animals. And oh my god. So we're talking about fruit. We're talking about steroids. We're talking about hormones. Um, this is a complete... I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. All of this kind of stuff. Yes, animals help with this. The, the broad fat base. Um, another one along the lines. If, if you insist on taking... Um, staying vegan. Uh, you want to get into Udo 369. And you want to drown yourself in this. Fucking herbs are not going to do anything if the raw material is not there, Dan, you fucking dumbass. Wreaks havoc on the nervous system and the adrenals. So once those two go down, you can expect some type of neurological condition. 
So um, that's a hundred percent true for sure. But if you don't have the raw materials there in the first place, it's not gonna do anything. Which is what's wrong with the guy in the first place of how genetic disorders start is from not having good base material there. So to have good base material, we want to eat tons of sardines. We want to eat brewer's yeast. We want to get um, this stuff that I talked about, um, the fish oils. Um, we want to get on with uh, definitely reading primal body, primal mind, and opening our minds and realizing that there is no ancestral evidence that proves that we need to be vegan, that you want to look into getting grass-fed um, uh, good red meats and stuff like this. And, and definitely, one of the things when I came out of the whole vegan world is raw liver. Oh my God, it tastes so good. The body wants it so much. And the re I'm just attracted to veganism and the sustainability thing is a big thing with me too. And I, I don't have O blood, I have A blood. So it's like what I'm doing is basically being vegan based. And the other thing you want to eat in all of this is raw eggs. For sure. Okay. Let's listen to more of Dan's fucking bullshit. You want to regenerate with energization. In other words, fruits and herbs to regenerate your whole life. Okay. Uh, fruit again this this like getting energy flowing um, astragalus you definitely want to take uh, you want to get plenty hydrated um, because astragalus will will reveal uh, drying quality within your body if you don't have enough water in the first place um, and so taking mouth shots of astragalus you can get a really good astragalus from Jing herbs which I like a lot I would get the big bag of that a little bit pricey Take mouth shots of that, scoop it up, um, put it under. It tastes really good. Um, you can get a cheaper astragalus from uh, Star West Botanicals. I would definitely um, mix and match uh, with the astragalus and some of your chi herbs. Astragalus is the one that I recommend the most. Um, other chi herbs are things like ginseng, white atracolotes, um, and other uh, uh, of these formulas. Um, uh, Jing Herbs has a formula called, uh, I think it's Return of the return the digestion or um, revive the digestion or something and then Dragon Herbs has another formula called um, um, Opt Digest. Um, these people like uh, Dr. Robert Morris is fine but keep in mind that this this guy is not anywhere near as high profile as Ron T. Garden, George Lamoureux and some of these other systems. The, uh, Dr. Robert Morris is completely proceeding from a point of view of um, basically Western herbs. And, and I just don't hear a wideness in there. I'm not trying to say that it doesn't work. But the long term, the real long term in this is going to be from some of these people that are coming from a ancient background. And Ron T. Garden would be on the top of this list. And I, um, uh, his knowledge comes from a, a long line of masters when it comes to Chinese herbalism. So, um, that being said, also, I do want to highly recommend that, uh, my friend, that you go to Dragon Herbs and get a, a free consultation from them. Uh, they have plenty of operators where they will talk on the phone and help you. Um, do announce to them that you do have MS and that you're very critical, and they will hook you up with a senior herbalist. All right, on we go. Well, my friend, I cannot give medical advice because I'm not a medical doctor. The what the fuck are you doing, dumbass? That's what you do all the time. And you're, and you're doing chemotherapy for MS. Oh. Okay, uh, what I'm going to say is I'm going to go about this in a different way. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what I would do. And I would seriously... If it was me with MS, uh, chemotherapy would be just like, that's like getting back surgery. Um, all these medical people, they totally mean well. Uh, chemotherapy, um, you know, all of this kind of stuff. Uh, for everybody that there is within the medical world uh, of, of this sort of, I call it, it's, it's hard to describe this. I don't want to talk shit about um, the, the mainstream medical doctors because they've helped me with my HIV thing. But um, some people that are medical doctors that have a totally different approach that I can point you in the direction of is Hippocrates Health Institute. 
uh, Brian Clement is a medical doctor, and then uh, Gabriel Cousins as well, who I referenced, who is also going to help you in a big way, but I just want to augment these are all vegan places. Um, they are medical doctors that can give you, but I, but I really think that if it was me um, and I wasn't in a desperate situation, um, I would try to address this on my own. And all I'm saying is I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what I would do if it was me. Okay, now I know that I'm living on planet Zorkon. Um, I, I, I'm not a medical doctor, and this is definitely not medical advice, but I can only tell you that if it was me, there is no way in hell I would do chemotherapy. Yay, Dan! Sclerosis. You I got that one right. Regeneration and regenerate the nerves in my body by looking at the food that I eat, which is going to be raw living food, which regenerates, hydrates, and energizes every cell in your body. And the chemotherapy cooks, burns, irradiates, and... Okay, first off, the raw food may not work for this guy if he's already done chemotherapy because raw food, once the body starts getting compromised with things like chemotherapy and stuff like this, this guy may have to jump into the realm of cooked food if his digestion is completely jacked. Destroys cells, healthy and unhealthy. So what's better, Andrew? To attack a disease or to cultivate health? You got it, brother man. Okay, Dan, the man, life regenerator. What's better, to um, consider everything out there or to stay on a goddamn rail of fucking uh, um, box living? Um, open your mind. This guy may need to get on with having cooked food. A person that is really wide on this kind of stuff is Donna Gates. And I know a lot of you closed-minded idiots don't really like her because she just recently had plastic surgery done. Um, or at least that's the way it looks to me and the way it's looking to a lot of people. And she has a very wide point of view on this and is one of the best healers around. So um, she has a great book, a new book that she put out that's called The Baby, Baby Boomer Diet. Um, and she's an advocate of, of like whatever it takes. Keep in mind, Dan the Man is on collective consciousness raw food mentality. That's, that's, that's great. It works for people, but some people just cannot digest raw food. Another uh, interesting great book that you could read is one by uh, Paul Pitchford that's called Healing with Whole Foods. All right, here we go. Back to the dog and pony show. So is there, are there any other questions? I've got a busy day ahead of me. Well, I'll tell you what, bro. Um, I am the busiest guy on planet Earth right now. The emails are slipping by, you know. Busiest guy on planet Earth? Okay, I know whatever, but I know there's some serious problems going on in the Eurozone right now. And uh, some of those people, um, I, I think, are slightly busy and doing more important shit than your motherfucking ass, as well as Barack Obama. Oh, and so, do you have my number now? In your phone? Yeah, I can. I mean, when I get a chance to connect with someone like you, I usually kind of put you up there at the top as far as I get a feeling for these kind of things. Oh, yeah, for definitely, because the whole um, downflow of stuff of like addressing something as big as MS. Um, look out for me, Diane, because I may be prank calling you trying to get HIV advice from you. You better uh, look out for me because I'm taking you down, motherfucker, because you're full of shit. And you're going to ruin an institution that is so important to me because uh, it's just going to bring so much. It's, people already laugh at you. It's like, like I've completely shit on you, dude. And people, I, I, the thumbs down I got was people, it's about time that somebody did this. So whatever, dude. Get off your high horse and start dealing with your darkness and acting like you're some kind of holy Jesus with all your fucking bullshit. You know, like I'm supposed to help you, bro. I can't help everybody, it's impossible, but your message was well written and it just seemed like... Okay, Dan, the first thing is, is most people, all they're concerned with really, 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 really at the end of the day is weight loss. And your whole protocol is going to help with weight loss. So don't think that you've all of a sudden absorbed amazing amounts of energy. All that's going to happen is when you hit 40, when you lose your gene, is you're going to get slapped, slapped down. And then you're going to disappear from YouTube because your good looks aren't going to be around anymore. Something that, you know... I, I knew where you were. You were in the beginning phases, and I wanted to propel you into the 
to the next level to help you get your health back. <laughs> I'm where I'm at. I'm wherever I am. I live in my truck, so I'll be wherever. Uh, I'll be at this number. So why don't you call me, leave me a message, and I'll get back to you when I can. Dude, why don't you get a real job instead of fucking sitting there screwing people with all your fucking bullshit products that are on your liferegenerator.com page? And then also, also I'm going to stick in on here, my spies have told me about some of the shit that's going on with some of the bullshit that you pull. Um, you were associated with a guy, the raw trucker, and I'm not sure, like, I, I haven't confirmed my information with the live rock star Central Intelligence Agency, but I have people all over who give me information and I don't go spewing everything. I've sort of uncovered the works on Durian Rider. I've fucking taken a big shit on his crap and now I'm going to get you, bro. But I heard that you were doing videos with the Raw Trucker and that uh, you're basically um, taking money in from your whole life regenerator scam and uh, not giving this guy a cut, and he had a shit fit about it. I also know somebody that saw you at um, Chef B Live's thing, another fucking bullshit motherfucker, uh, this thing that was going on in Los Angeles, and somebody said they encountered you and said that you were quite the little fucking prick asshole. And we'll, we'll press ahead, but you'll be surprised. There's, a, there's actually some videos. To go to my search bar on YouTube and, and look up videos for neurological regeneration and MS. You'll find some Why would somebody want to do this? Because it um, looks to me like it's all completely a load of bull crap. And the thing I do want to point out in here, it doesn't look to me like you've ever done any research on what MS actually is. And MS is essentially seen as short-circuiting in the body. So um, with uh, the, which is the, the, the myron, sh myron, there's a sheathing that's over nerves. And basically it's the same as the plastic coating that's on the, on the wires. Um, within our technological system. The body is one of the greatest technological marvels that there is. And Dan totally recommends low fat. That's why I say go with the up fat. The other thing that I haven't mentioned in here at all is medicinal mushrooms. Let's see. Um, can we come up with why Dan hasn't mentioned medicinal mushrooms? Um, would that have anything to do with the fact that he doesn't know anything about them? Jeez! A lion's mane, my friend. Um, go on over to Mushroom Sciences. Um, talk to them. Tell them that you're a uh, very critical condition that you have. And um, it's highly likely that they will give you a 20% above their cost deal. Um, because it's only good for them to see, um, to have people like you come in. So lion's mane is a number one thing that you want to start dealing with in this uh, um, and just medicinal mushrooms in general and really start looking into this and medicinal mushrooms is a very new to the world of alternative health and you're going to go on the internet and you're going to find a lot of basically all medicinal mushrooms are, are helpful I've experimented with, with all of them and to the best of my knowledge um, I do want to tell you that lion's mane um, it's also called turkey tail is one that's really going to help out with you so um, Geez, Dan, you're a complete idiot, dude. Stories and some education there as well. I, I love her. That's my jump rope queen. But uh, she's... Oh, my God. Okay, I've had enough. The rest of this is ob obviously self-indulgent, and I do want to say this... Um, this is old news to um, any of the le regular Life Regenerator uploaders listening to his stuff of this uh, free-flowing sewer of self-indulgent uploads that this guy does. It's just like, I understand that all you people are lonely and um, Dan provides some inspiration and you feel a like-mindedness and all of this kind of stuff, but I'm telling you right now, I con conversed with people on this. I have conversed with my psychic on this. This boy is running from darkness, big time. That's the only reason why somebody live out of tr out of a truck, and he's got the support of a lot of just raw food, dogmatic people, um, and cool vegetarian would be on the top of that list. Um, anyways, 
So um, I just can't believe it. We're going to get on with some special music to talk about Dan. <laughs> 